Hi, I'm Judy Puckett. I'm the Director of Women's Ministries for Chapelgate Church. Have you ever had one of those moments where someone says something or an event happens and it triggers in you a series of what if thoughts? And you start to think, well, what if this happens? And from that, what if this happens? And from that, what if this happens? And all of a sudden you're going down these rabbit trails of what ifs and you're finding your anxiety and your worry mounting over something that may or may not ever happen. Well, I had one of those moments actually this morning. Just a, a simple comment that threw me into this whirlwind of what ifs, what ifs. And just as quickly, I felt like the Lord was saying to me, trust me, trust me. And I thought, I want to trust you, Lord. I want to trust you for my future. How do I trust you? And he led me to a few scriptures that I just wanted to share a couple thoughts with you about. So the first one was Psalm 62, 8, and it says this, Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. So the first thing I thought about trust was that God invites us to pour out our hearts to him. Trusting him doesn't mean blindly pretending that something isn't going on, that it's not affecting us or that it doesn't exist. That's not what trust is. Trust is in those moments, pouring out our hearts to him. He wants us to give voice to our worry, to our fear, to our doubt, and to our pain because he is a refuge. He is good. So that's the first thing I thought, like I'm allowed to give words to this and express it. Secondly, he led me to Psalm 37, three. And Psalm 37, three says this, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. So what I learned about trust in this verse is that trust is sometimes about just doing the next right thing. Trust in the Lord and do good. I don't have to have all the what ifs figure out, figured out. They may all really go the way I thought they would, the way I feared they would. But my job is to pour out my heart to him and then just do the next right thing. I, that seems doable. That seems like something that I can tackle. Just do the next right thing. And the third scripture he led me to was Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which has always been one of my favorite verses, favorite set of verses. And it says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Now, I love these verses because there's so much packed into it and we're not going to unpack everything, but there's just a couple of things that the Lord highlighted in my heart this morning that I wanted to share with you. And the first one is this. We don't lean on our own understanding. My own understanding of how life is going to play out. I can't lean on that. I can't trust on that. I can't bank on that. That's not sure. But what I can do is in all my ways, acknowledge him. So what that means is for me to remind myself, like, God, you're sovereign over every detail, over every relationship, and over every circumstance. You are sovereign. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to come my way without first passing through your hands. And it's good for me to acknowledge that, to acknowledge him. The second thing is that we acknowledge that he is good. He is always good. He cannot act contrary to his nature. So that means he always acts for good and in goodness. And I remind myself of that. No matter how the series of events unfold in our lives, we know that God is good in all of them. And we also acknowledge that he is strong. There is no power. There is no relationship. There is no circumstance that he is not stronger than, that he is not powerful over that he is not better than, greater than. He is strong. And it's good for us to remember that. And it's good for me to remember that he has purpose in everything that he does. In the pain that comes my way, there is purpose. In the stress that comes my way, in the heartache, in the joy, in the good moments and in the bad moments, there is always purpose because that's who God is. So he invites us to trust him. He invites us to pour out our hearts to him, to acknowledge him, and to know that he is who
who he says he is. And that's really good news for us. Let's pray. God, thank you that when life throws us a curve or our minds go down these trails of what ifs, that you remind us that we can trust you and you give us very practical ways that we can do that. And we're thankful for that. Help us to trust you. In Jesus' name, amen.